Hey there. Look at her. Look at her. Yes, baby. What you guys think? How are you guys doing this week? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep, this is her. Hey there. Come out and play. Yay. This girl is the stuff, baby. <clears throat> yes, this is a 99J, you might as well say. Human hair wig pixie. Yes, I go in and shape her up. I thin her out. And you can fl flat iron her or whatever, but girlfriend is everything. Let me turn around so you can see the back of her. She is everything. And here's the box that I got it from. Yes, if you could, bruh, if you could see it. It's the Saga 100% Remy human hair. And it says color OT530. OT530. And I mean, honey, she is everything. <clears throat> and it, I think, fits really good with my skin tone because I had some other wigs that look like this. And you can get this wig off of um, any, excuse me, any online beauty supply site. But I tell you that I think I am everything in this. This is one of my favorites. Um, I wear it and I get a lot of attention with it because it's cute. I think it fits my face really well. You guys can tell me what you think. But this is something you must have. Now, it's a little bulky. Like I said, I go in and I kind of raise her, cut around my ears, thin her out, all that good stuff so it can fit really good uh, around my face. Because I like stuff, you know, you just want stuff that don't look too wiggy. You want it to look natural as possible. You don't want to go out and look. I know I ain't going out and look no mess unless I just want to or I'm sick. Because, you know, and I don't let y'all guys see me how I look in real form, you know. So it doesn't matter to me to that extent, but I, if I'm going out, going somewhere, oh, I ain't getting to go out looking no mess, baby. Oh, no, that ain't gonna happen. We gonna be hooked up. I'm gonna have that hair, everything hooked up. So I just like, <clears throat> excuse me, wearing different colors because, like I said, when I color my hair, my hair will fall out. So I like getting short wigs with different colors. Um, some colors I don't get because I feel like I'm too old for that. And then I'll get longer wigs with the, basically the same color. And as you go along, you'll see me with some of my longer wigs for some of my favorite brands that I buy human hair wigs. Most of my, all my wigs is human hair. I do get some synthetic, but most of them are human hair. But this right here, she is everything right here. And the style is called, the style is called Mint Cream. M-I-N-T cream. Color 050T530. Zero, zero or O T530. And you will want to go pick this up. Because it's a really nice one. And it looks really cute with a lot of different, you know, little outfits and stuff that I put on. So it's something you would like to really get into. So this is my look for the week. And so, like I always say, we're going to have conversation for the look for the week. Now, we're going to go into conversation, you guys. And we want to know, I want to know how many of y'all grew up ghetto. I mean, not really ghetto. I mean, just get that hood, hood in you. You, you ain't had no choice. And my thing is, let me tell you some stories. And I'm going to tell you a story. When you know you ghetto win, baby. And this is a true story. It's my family. I love them. And, okay. Now, you know you get on win. Now, my father had a dog. The dog was old as sin, okay? And he swear, I would come in town, because I'm from Indianapolis, I came in town and visit, and I was looking at the dog, and the dog just looked like he was just a shaking on his last leg when I came in town. So I told Dad, I said, Dad, um, the dog look like, I don't know, he's sick, something wrong. Oh, ain't no wrong with that dog. That's what he said, ain't nothing wrong with that dog. And my father, you know, being one of them, this one of them church, honey, he wanted those to open and close the church. It ain't even got no real position. In the now I think he's treasurer. But when I was growing up, he had to go to church and we had to sit for him, sit and wait for him. Everybody be gone. He ain't even had no position in church. And he'd be the one, the last one to turn out the lights. And I'd be crying because I'd be ready to go. And you know you go to black churches, you there for like two days straight, 
I mean, exaggerating. I mean, the whole service is like about four hours. So now I'm so, when I go to church, I go the last hour or two when I know the preacher is preaching. Maybe get some of the choir singing. Preachers preach it, then I hurry up and leave. People be like, well, you won't stay and say hi, socialize? No, nah. no, nah, my daddy traumatized me with that when I was younger. So when it's time to go, I'm ready to go. I'm hungry, I'm ready to go. You know, that I didn't have no car to get away, but this time, I'm leaving. You know, I'm going, because he just, I can't. So he went to church that Sunday. My cousin come over. We gonna have a big family barbecue over at the house. My cousin comes over and says, um, y'all dog is dead. I said, uh-uh, no, he ain't. He said, yes, he is. He's laid out there and flies is flying all around him, around his eyes. I said, what? He dead. So I go look. I said, oh God, let me call my daddy. So I called my daddy. He was at church. I said, Daddy, I told you your dog was sick. Your dog did. He like, what? I said, yeah, he got, you know, I said, yes, he do. He got flies swarming around him, all around him, in his eyes and stuff. He was like, what? So mind you, the dog was laying right there. It's in its cage, but it's laying right there. Don't you know my father and the family still had the barbecue? Now, mind you, the dog was laying right there. Dead. My little niece running around doing circles around and dancing. See, that would have traumatized me. I would have been crying. <laughs> Dead. That would have traumatized me. Everybody looking and they still barbecuing, get the grill going, socializing. I'm like, but that's a dead dog right over there. Look, yo, dog. So eventually, my uh, two of my sons, all three of my sons, I got three sons and my nephew. Went over there and buried the hole for the dog. 